back in days of school, when exam time would fall, I'd hear tales through the hall of legend. At the start of a test, one would embark on a quest, ignoring all imposed stress and express in one sentence, no more, no less, that courage is this. And lay down pen and dismiss, fellow students would believe that they were taking the piss as with a smile on face and proud, confident gait, they would unlock the way to their freedom. And all these years later, that tale has stayed with me. As waking whispers catcall callously, once mind aligns with time's rhythmic breath, laughter is hard when it feels as though there's no strength left to draw from. But these scars become scaffolding upon which to bear the weight of the relentless repair. Their support serve to temper the despair that is joined by more of the endless. See, the truth is, I come close to ending this every single day, sometimes far too frequently falling prey to the allure of eternal release. It gets advertised to me as a path to peace, a gingerbread road that so often seems so sweet that I lick my lips in anticipation with every heartbeat that echoes out the repetition of a candy-coated end. See, when things are chronic, they do not mend. You just have to manage. Find ways to challenge muscle, joint, bone and mind. Hold the negatives up to the light to uncover the reasons why and forge a meaning into the being of each day. Under the definition of courage is written strength in the face of pain or grief. And the truth is, as I struggle to see this, the pluckiness I present is holding white knuckled tight as I seek the will to continue the fight. And I still smile. So often people have spoken on how they cannot imagine me angry, sad or depressed. And when I laugh out loud and they shout, see? The reality is that they do not. But I smile. An attempt to take the compliment. I express gratitude daily as it helps to frame the way I see. I stand up or sit <laughs> and perform because it fucking terrifies me. I keep moving on because I cannot let this be the end of my story, no matter how blissful that final full stop would be. There is more to me than my conditions, and yes, there are plenty of plans to date death, and as much as I crave that final rest, I can still acknowledge that I am blessed. And yes, this contradiction is afflicting, the juxtaposition of warrior and victim. There is no home to go to. I cannot take a senzu bean nor train like Goku. But I'll still stand up again more times than Yamcha, because I have to. And in spite of feeling like an imposter in everything that I do, it's the little things that help to pull me through. So... <laughs> No matter how broken, no matter how black or blue, this is my solemn vow to me and to you. I will do my best to keep moving through, find the strength to uncover confidence in what I do, to love and believe in myself the way I do all of you. Because I am Simon J. Keenan. And courage is this.